Okay, guys, we got a BB gun, fishing yeah. gun here. What we did is we took a big bore. We took a uh, big .625 caliber big bore air gun, and we took the cone off the back. Take the cone off, and then get a black electrical tape, and you wrap the back of the dart right here, just enough so it fits down the barrel of a 177 caliber BB gun. And when it fits tight, you, t you take another piece up to there and tape it so it fits just down the barrel snugly. You want it too tight. And then you take an old reel, an open cast reel. You tape it on with any kind of tape, doesn't really matter. I'm just using this regular tape right now. And if you're a frog, like for, if you're hunting for frogs and like small non game fish, you could use four pound test. That's what I'm using now. It shoots better. But you can put a bigger reel with bigger line. So what you do to shoot it is you want to make sure your line's kind of real tight. The only thing is it doesn't have anywhere to reel, so you gotta have to hold it like this to reel it. What you do is just put it down the barrel and you pump it 10 to 15, almost 20 times maybe. And you want to open the barrel before you shoot. If you don't, it'll be bad. Now you can put the reel to the side, up like this. Just make sure when you cock it, this part can hit under here if you put it like this. Okay, here we go. And if you guys look here, it hit the paper. That was about 10 yards, maybe. So it'll shoot far. It went right through the back. The Zytel broadhead darts are probably the best because they have the broadhead type darts on it. They have a back to them that'll work as a barb or whatever so it won't pull out. And they work really good for frogs. They don't, for fish, they don't really stick in as well as the mini broadhead. But they work for fish if you get them close enough on top of the water. They're they best for frogs. They stick in a lot easier. And well, that was our blow or BB gun fishing gun here. Thanks for watching. Redneck Outdoors.